Okay, so this for this next video in our series on building a membership site, we're going to talk about membership dashboards. And we're going to go ahead and put together a dashboard. I'm going to show you a few ways to do it. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and just dive right in here. So you're definitely going to want to have a membership dashboard. Okay, this is just it's a part of the basic structure of a membership site. And it's going to basically serve as that central page that hub, where when your members log in, they're going to go to the dashboard first, typically, and then they're from there, they'll branch out to the different features of their membership. So it's pretty important for people to be able to find things. Now, this hub is just typically I call it a dashboard. Frankly, I don't know if other people call it a dashboard that's what i'm going to call it so we're going to roll with that now when a member logs in they're going to go to this dashboard automatically now in our last video i talked about various ways to route people when they log in that stuff all still applies you're just going to route them to the dashboard okay and then depending on how you actually build this thing sometimes that routing is going to take place automatically i'll tell you about that coming up okay so what goes on this dashboard page? All right, well, the truth is you could put whatever you want on there, but some of the typical things would be possibly to greet them by name, like Pi, first name, something like that. Um, you could put it as a hub for people to click out to the core features of their membership site. So maybe linking out to your course library, linking out to other member resources, whatever you might have for your members. It also depends on what kind of membership site you're building. And so if you're doing a service-oriented membership site, then perhaps on the dashboard would be a form for them to request service from you or something to that effect. Um, you probably are going to want to link out to ways for them to edit their account, look at their purchase history, link out to important forms, um, possibly even offer them an upgrade to their membership if they have n one of your lower membership levels. You get the idea. You have to think about as the owner of your website, what makes sense on this page? And then you put that on your dashboard and you make it look the way that you want. Now, you definitely don't want to make this site and this dashboard complicated. Don't over-engineer it, okay? Um, it's supposed to be simple, and simple dashboards are going to get used more, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about a few of the logistics that would go into this, all right? There are two main approaches to this. First of all, you can create a page. Just go to the list of pages inside of WordPress. You can create a page manually, call it dashboard, put whatever you want, on that screen, okay? And then we just make sure that when people log in, they route to that. It's, it's, it's that simple. The second option is to use the account option of whatever membership software that you're using, okay? So a lot of different membership site plugins, they come with an account screen that's just sort of built in or when you install the plugin, it will auto create it for you. And you could just use that as your dashboard. And a lot of times it's pretty convenient to do that. Now, in my case, I usually use WooCommerce as the basis for the membership along with Woo subscriptions if you have recurring billing. And WooCommerce has a My Account screen. It's just put there automatically. And I usually turn that into the dashboard. I make some changes to it, okay? Um, I change the main screen. I'll show you this stuff coming up. And I usually turn that into the dashboard, and I think it's pretty simple. So that actually is my personal preference, is to use the My Account screen from WooCommerce and turn that into the dashboard. But you don't have to do it that way. You could just create a page of your own, design it however you please, and turn that into the dashboard, okay? For example, if you're using Buddy Boss software, they've actually got some widgets that are built into Elementor. You can create a nice looking dashboard with the news feed and the whole thing. So again, it depends on how your site is put together. So let's go ahead and talk about both options here. Okay, so here we are on our test membership site yet again. And first of all, I wanna show you the it's, I'm going to call it the manual way, and that's basically we're just going to create a page and we're going to call it the dashboard. Now, this particular test site that I've created, I have WooCommerce installed, okay? So I, that's how I would normally do it. I would go ahead and use the My Account screen, but we're going to first show you the other option, okay? So let's go over to Pages, okay? All right, see, this is the My Account screen that comes with WooCommerce. That's the way that I would normally do this, but first, I'm gonna go in and create one manually as if I was gonna go a different route, okay? So let's go in and create a new page. 
Now again, I'm using Cadence Theme, uh, using the Block Builder. You could use whatever system you like. Uh, we're just going to call this Dashboard. All right. And then Cadence happens to have some a, a few nice widgets. Like for example, this one's got the user info. So I could do this and it would show their uh, registration date. It would show their um, avatar if they happen to have one. We could say instead of my name or not instead of it before, we could say hi like that. So it would greet them. Um, and it would it's a nice little start to the dashboard. And then down here, let's say that we wanted to, I'll use some... Um, info boxes and we can use all use it off to the side and it'll be like course library uh, I'm not gonna have any courses on this site and maybe you won't either but at the end of the day uh, see view our library of awesome courses and then possibly for the icon let's go over here to our media settings and let's go ahead and Maybe like was a there's like a little graduation act. Yeah, there we go, like that. And I'm not going to create this entire page, but you can get the idea. Um, and we would use this as our dashboard. Now, um, being that we're also using WP Fusion, what I would typically do is say they need to be logged in in order to see it. And I just check the uh, the WP Fusion permission settings for that. And uh, I'm not going to set any particular permissions as far as tags. I'm just going to say they need to be logged in in order to see it. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and publish this page. All right, let's copy that, come over here, and you will see that's what basically the start of our member dashboard, okay? And then the last thing that what, what we would do, let's go back out of the editor, and we need to redirect people so that when they log in, this is the page that they go to. All right. So as I covered in the last video, there's multiple ways that you can go about that. Uh, one of my favorite tools to go to is the admin site enhancements plugin, in which case what I would do is go over to the login area. And then where do we have redirect after login? And I'm going to set this to dashboard. Okay. And we can go ahead and make it. For subscriber is going to be the main one. Let's go ahead and check off customer two as our user roles. Administrators, now when we log in, we're going to go still into the admin panel like everybody else, okay? But everybody else will go to the dashboard. And then that's basically all there is to it, okay? Now, if you did, you want to use the WP Fusion login um, add-on, you could do that as well. So you go to WP Fusion settings, you could go to login, and you could do uh, redirect rules here, okay? And uh, basically leave blank for any, and then we would just right here go dashboard, dupe, and that would pretty much do the trick right there. Um, but, and the other thing too is that if I was going to set up a membership site that had multiple member levels, then probably what I would do is, and that's if I wanted to do this, I could create a different dashboard for each of them. Most sites I don't do it that way, but I have dealt with a few where they the, there were different membership levels that really had a very different set of content for each of those members. And in that case, sometimes it's a little easier to have multiple dashboards. And so what I would do there is set a, the tag to say if they have tag A, they go to dashboard A. If they had tag B, they'd go to dashboard B. And I would typically use this login um, add-on for WP Fusion in order to do that. Okay, now WooCommerce's my account screen that you could just show that I had in there, that actually can make a, for a fairly decent dashboard. Now right off the gate, it's going to have a, a, a menu off to the side where they can see their order history, change some settings on their profile. A lot of that stuff is just built into the dashboard automatically, okay? But then what you can actually do is make some modifications to this dashboard in order to make it really look good and serve the purpose. You're, you're, you're gonna keep the basic formatting, but you just, typically the main screen, which is the actual dashboard of the My Account screen, uh, you will make some changes to that. And I'll show you how I typically do that. Uh, okay, so, but it can take some modifications to really make this My Account screen serve as a good dashboard. And I'm going to show you what the dashboard looks like at the Blog Marketing Academy um, and how you can actually make this work for yourself. Now, I will say um, some of the stuff you can do pretty simply, other things not so much, okay? Um, if you want to add uh, or remove menu options from the My Account screen of WooCommerce, you do have to get into a little bit of PHP code, okay? But it's not that 
that hard, uh, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now, I'll provide the exact code that I use, and I'm going to do a little quick video walkthrough of how it works, and then you can actually hopefully do this yourself. But I'm going to do that in a separate video just because it's a little bit more technical, okay? And, and where you're going to be able to find that is over at blogmarketingacademy.com. If you go into the video library, if you pull up this series on building a membership site in the video library, I'm going to put that video there, okay? But it will require the one pass membership, which is super affordable uh, to get it. And it's basically going to be some PHP code snippets, a video walkthrough of how to manage that snippet. And it's going to be mainly if you want to add custom screens to the member, my account screen for WooCommerce and things like that. Um, not every site's going to need to do it. Uh, there's a good chance your site, you may not need to alter those options in the menu for my account. But if you do, I'll show you how. And I'll also be clear, if you want to go out there and search Google for it, be my guest. The, the snippets that are available to do that kind of thing are freely available out there. And you just got to modify them to suit your needs. But if you'd like it, I'll put it over at blogmarketingacademy.com. All right. Now to modify the main dashboard screen, which is the, 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 when you go to my account, there's the dashboard. Okay. It's the first screen you're going to see, and you can make some modifications to that. And you could do it fairly easily with cadence elements, which is built right into the cadence theme. Now, again, we're talking about the tool set that I use. Okay. And so I'm going to show you how I go about doing it. Let's do it. Okay. So first is the demo. Let me just show you blog marketing Academy itself. You've hopefully been there by now. Okay. So I'm on the homepage right now. If you click, I'm actually logged into my own profile, of course. Okay. And if you go over to the account screen, I'll show you what we look like. Now, this is actually powered by the actual my account screen. You can see by the URL here of WooCommerce. Okay. However, I've made some modifications. As you can see here, I've created my own little dashboard here <clears throat> that branches off to the various parts of Blog Marketing Academy that might be relevant to members. I, I also put these things here if their one pass is active, if they are a concierge client, um, when people have any time credits, I show their balance. These are all done by custom fields. Um, this is beyond the topic of this particular series, but um, all very, very doable. Now, this screen, the dashboard, was created by Cadence Elements, and I will show you how that's actually done. I'm not going to build this entire thing for you, but I'll show you the mechanics of how to create this page and design it the way that you want. These other tabs are actually powered by typical WooCommerce stuff. It's uh, account details. People can edit, edit the email address, um, address, view their transaction history. This is all stuff that's built into WooCommerce by default, changing payment methods, um, credit history. This is a custom screen. This is where people can look at their debit log for their anytime credit. So that's something that goes into the credit system at blogmarketingacademy.com and is customized. Um, I use Fluent Booking for um, for the calendars. And so people can look at their appointment history and upcoming stuff, and it's all done from the dashboard. So this is yet another custom screen pulling in the Fluent Booking widget. People can send me a testimonial, and that will actually leave the dashboard, if I'm not mistaken, and go over, yep, there we see, we go over to a different screen here where people can leave a testimonial. But this is the idea behind the dashboard. When people log in, they immediately come to this screen, okay? Now, let us go over to our test site again, and I'll show you the mechanics of how to create this first page. All right, now back on our test site that we're working with, this is the default My Account screen. This is pretty much exactly what it will look like out of the box, so to speak, when you install WooCommerce. Now, you'll notice that on the main dashboard screen, you're going to have this, this little doodad here. And, it, and it, unfortunately, <laughs> in order to remove this text, you're going to have to actually modify your theme, uh, specifically the theme for WooCommerce. And so what I typically do, you can, so there's a couple options here. One is that you can either just leave this alone and just let it be, okay? And, what, and then what I'm going to show you with cadence elements would go right below this, and you'd have a nice dashboard below this. Or what we do is we set your theme to be a child theme, 
okay? And then we would use the child theme in order to modify this and get rid of it. And I have actually done that. As you can see over at blogmarketingacademy.com, that's no longer there. That's because I've went ahead and put in place a quick little child theme simply so that I can modify that aspect of WooCommerce to get it out of there. It's unfortunate that it's such a dorky experience to do it that way, but hey, it's WooCommerce, okay? It's it's not perfect, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's the how we would remove this stuff if you wanted to do that. Now let me show you how I'm gonna, we can create a, um, a screen here using Cadence Elements. Let's pop on back into the admin panel. Let's see if Cadence Elements is active. It is, okay? So if you install Cadence at first, let me just show you this. You have some different things that you can turn on with the uh, the Pro add-on, and one of them is called Hooked Elements. And it, I've got that turned on. It's definitely very, very useful. And we're gonna go ahead and use that right now. So let's go over to Cadence Elements. Let's create a new one. Okay, let's call this Account Dashboard. And on this, you can do a lot of the same stuff we did um, in the previous version. In fact, let me see, I forgot the name of that block. Let's do, 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 do was it user info? Yep, and we'll say, let's say howdy this time, okay. Um, and let's turn off the date. We don't need to tell everybody when they registered. And then down here, let's put in a row and we're, because I can show you how we did this little thing back to back like that. Let's do it in here. Let's go ahead and create a quick row. And here we'll do an info. I'm not going to go in and format everything, but this is basically how it's done. And then we'll do another info box here and then make it look like that. And then I would change the settings and the icons and the whole thing. We're just gonna roll with this for now because this is a demonstration. All right, so let's say we've got ourselves a page here that we like, okay? Well, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook it into the WooCommerce uh, My Account screen. So let's go over to here. We're going to place this, let's see, it's in this drop down here. We're gonna hook it in, let's see, there's WooCommerce stuff. There's a big, there's all kinds of places you can stick this stuff after a different navigate. Ah, here it is, account dashboard. All right. Um, show on probably entire site, honestly. And we're not going to worry about who it is. We're just going to say for everybody. All right. Let's go and see if I got those settings right. Let's go ahead and publish that. Okay. And then let's refresh. Boom. See how we got it? It's what it's doing is it's basically hooking what we just designed from Cadence Elements and it does a system of hooks and will make it appear where we display where we told it to. Okay. And in this dashboard, you can see with Cadence Elements, there's all kinds of different places you could stick this stuff. I decided I wanted it on the count dashboard because that's what we're working with. And there we go. Now all this other stuff is still going to remain default for WooCommerce because most of the time we don't need to modify any of these screens. Um, they're actually handy. Some of them I turn off. Like if, if you're not selling downloads, we would disable that menu option. If we're not dealing with physical addresses because there's nothing that we're shipping, then there's no reason to show them the addresses tab. So we can remove those things. In some cases, you might want to add other ones, but then when they come to the dashboard, they're going to see what it is that you design. Now, being that we're using the block builder to do this and with cadence elements you can do anything that you can do with the block builder you could do right here that includes conditional blocks which is what i've done over here where i'm inserting things like uh, the the credit balance and this right here if their one pass was not active it would show uh, a non-active thing and these are all with conditional blocks and i use a plugin called block visibility for that but that's the mechanics of how the dashboard is put together. So the one other thing that I would do, but we'll do this in a different video, is that I would modify the child theme to get rid of this and get it out of the way. And probably this too. Uh, just get it out of there. That way we can take full control over it using Cadence Elements. Okay, so with that, you pretty much have the basics of how to create your My Account dashboard, or if you're not using WooCommerce, you can use set up a dashboard the other way that I showed you. But I like to do it this way because I think it kind of puts everything in one spot. WooCommerce puts a lot of the mechanics of managing their account already there. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. So all we gotta do is create a that nice dashboard screen to go on the front, 
and you've got yourself a pretty fully functioning dashboard. Now, as I mentioned, there are some customizations that you might want to do in terms of removing menu options from the dashboard um, and possibly adding some custom ones. I'm going to create a different video for that, and I'll put it over at blogmarketingacademy.com as part of the series. And with that, the reason it's going to be different, by the way, is because there's going to be some PHP code involved and things like that, and I'll give you a video walkthrough. And just because it's a little bit more nerdy, we'll keep it over there, okay? And so if you want that, you can get over there, and then I'll show you. And by the way, there's stuff out there on Google, you can definitely find information on how to do that. It's not hidden. WooCommerce is super popular. Okay, with that being said, oh, one other thing I should mention also is that obviously when you have a My Account screen like this, you want to make sure that it's in your top navigation. That when they're logged in, they're going to have a button that says Account. And then when they're not logged in, they're going to have a Login button that goes to the Login, okay? Now with Cadence, I just use the button for that, okay? It's got a nice little widget, so to speak, built right in. I drag it into the header. I make it look the way that I want. And that's how I do it. it that's how it's working at blogmarketingacademy.com. You could also put it into your main navigation menu under the menu section, and you could do it like that if you'd like. Again, like most things, there's always multiple ways of doing it. Okay. But that's pretty much the mechanics of the dashboard. Once again, a reminder too, I build these things all the time for clients. And so if you would like to not do the DIY route, if you'd like for me to give you a massive head start on just putting your membership site together for you and getting a lot of these mechanics set up, come on over to blogmarketingacademy.com. You can schedule a roadmap call. We can discuss your project and uh, I'll let you know what we can do, okay? And, and see if it might be a good fit. Um, but I also have all the plugins that I talk about. I, I use them for clients all the time. And a lot of times what we do is we just, everything I'm showing you in this series, I just build it and we get make it look nice and the whole thing. And then all you really need to do is worry about your membership content. And it, it makes for a nice partnership and the whole project goes a lot faster. So if that's interesting for you, head on over to blogmarketingacademy.com, schedule that call, and I'm happy to chat with you. All right, I'll see you on the next video.